how you're all doing. Happy Boxing Day. I thought I'd better come on quickly because I did say I was going to do a live yesterday and I didn't get around to it. And the truth is, it was too stressful. It was true, too stressful. I was having a stress fest. But anyway, I thought I'd have a little catch up with you. See how your day went yesterday. And because I, one of my um, promises to myself is that I will always try and be my most authentic self. And I'm never, ain't never, never going to pretend to be something I'm not. Anyway, so I wanted to share with you all the fun and frolics of yesterday. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Happy Boxing Day. And actually, I feel surprisingly fresh. I've got my cup of um, lemon and ginger tea because I need to rehydrate. And I wanted to share with you a couple of things, um, my presents that I got, which were lovely and my favourites. And um, just to say hi, really. So, so I ain't never going to pretend to be something I'm not. And I do feel better. I do feel better today that um, that yesterday's done because it was really, I just think it's just everybody puts so much pressure on you to have a good time on Christmas Day. And I've got to say, first things first. Um, it was such a nice day to have all four of my children in the same house in ages. So we had a really, it was really lovely to have all four of my babies all together. And I have got to say, Christmas dinner has got to be the nicest food. It was amazing. My husband did a brilliant job of making the most amazing um, Christmas dinner. However leading up to that was most stressful um he was obviously quite stressed and the problem was we sort of run out of time because he was saying he was going to eat oh, he had to get up first he had his alarm clock on didn't he to pour turkey in why do we do it to ourselves had the alarm was on to make sure he got the turkey in on time and then well it does take me a bit to come round in the morning i like to have at least two um oh you had two out of three it's nice to have all my babies all all back together um so um christmas dinner so we got up put the turkey in and you know I'm, i like to have me two cups of coffee and he is the most wonderful husband brings me two cups of co coffee in bed before i think i've just been spoiled and i just get used to having me two cups of coffee so we're just chilling out and it's a day off work so we weren't rushing and then before you know it we were, everyone's wait everyone's up so it takes everybody ages to get up and get going and um and then we're waiting waiting around for everything gary's faffing about in the kitchen washing pots that he's obviously focused on his turkey and he's doing what he needs to do and to be honest I just leave him to it because he's a much he's a miles better cook than me and he's miles better with timings than I am and I just think and actually I could have managed yesterday because there wasn't many of us I could have managed that I can do a good roast dinner so anyway um he was obviously stressing about that and I said to him I said don't worry about it it's all right I'll help you but I had these del three deliveries um, of the, the bags that I had yesterday I had to do those and I, and one of my big fails in life is I always think that I can get more done in a period of time than is actually physically possible so we're waiting to open presents weren't we hi Sue I've got something for you Sue but I just haven't had a chance to get round but I don't know maybe today or tomorrow anyway I will so um so he's stressing over his turkey. Kids are there sitting in the living room waiting to open presents. And he just like he's taking ages and he's doing what he needs to do. But but I think he should have just come open the presents and then we could have all gone and done our own thing. And I could have helped him. But I did say I was going to help him. However, he had chopped up everything the night before. Georgia had been helping him. My, um, I'm all right. Thank you, Sue. Did you have a nice day yesterday? 
So anyway, we ran out of time and I'm thinking we need to go around and exchange presents with my sister and my mum. And I'm thinking, oh, come on, we can do this. A bit of Annika Rice going going around visiting and stuff. But um, so heaven knows women do have to get themselves ready in the morning. I couldn't go out looking how I did. I had to do something with me. Hair. Georgia had to do me hair and look at it. It's all fallen out now. So it looks as bad as ever. Um, so Georgia did me hair. I put some slap on because I didn't want to look like I was half dead. Um, and I got myself ready. But these things, these things take time. They take time. So men don't seem to understand this, that sometimes it takes women a little bit longer to get ready. So I was getting ready. He was doing the turkey. He was stressing about the turkey. I was stressing about the presents. Everything was everywhere. There was paper everywhere. There's stuff everywhere. And I'm going... <sighs> so anyway, I got myself ready and I said, right, right, I am going out to do my deliveries. And he's like, just doesn't get it. He's, he's going, well, you said you were going to help me. You said you were going to help me and you're not helping me. So, like, set the table. I set the table. Chuck some crackers on the table. Set the table. I thought, he's, he seems to have it all under control. It seems to be all under control. It's fine. Um, so off I went on my little travels um, with my high heel red shoes on, delivering to the um, um, lovely Vanny over in Morecambe, beautiful lady, and what a pleasure to meet her, I just wish I could have had some, um, a bit longer to talk to her, she, she told me that she was a, she used to be a midwife, um, and one of you lovely guys nominated her for a little bag, um, and she said, yes, I'm going to be on my own today, she, she was contacting family over Zoom or whatever, which was, she looked like she was just the best person you want to get, um, get to know what a lovely and I tell you what she still looks young as a spring chicken what a lovely lady and oh, what a shame she had to be on um, on her own on Christmas day so that was such a pleasure that really brightened my day and I keep saying this giving is good for you hi Karen hi Amy hi Mia how are you happy boxing day so um I got to meet and then I came right to the other side of Lancaster and I meet, met the lovely Christine. She was standing outside her, um, her block of flats. Oh, gorgeous shoes. Yeah, my good red shoes. You've got to have red shoes. I've got some new plans for next year and it's to dress more colourfully. Um, I think I'm going to dress more in red and yellow. bit daring, but I, re I think yellow is going to be my colour of next year because it, it says happy to me. So I met the lovely Christine. She, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. She did look at me a little bit strange, thinking, "Who is this woman? Who is this woman?" Hi, Faith. Are you all right, my lovely? Um, Who is this woman coming up to me? I said, "I'm looking for Christine." So she went, "I'm Christine." So I had a little chat with her, and once we'd established that somebody she knew had nominated her, she was like, "Fine," and she's like, "She said, oh, we're just waiting to." She was waiting to exchange friend. At, gifts with some somebody but do you know she was she had a walking stick and she's standing outside in the in the it was cold waiting patiently for a friend to come and she had loads of good words to say about the lovely friend Kirsty who nominated her we've got so many lovely beautiful people in the world so that was so lovely you know and I know I can't fix loneliness I can't fix loneliness but if all of us do our tiny little bit just to tr just to try you know, it, I think it helps. So anyway, so I'll tell you why I found yesterday so stressful. Just because you can fit, and we was on like, oh, we need to get all these things done because we need to, it's because you, on Christmas day, you eat really early. So you don't get to do the normal things you do in your daytime. And I'm like, I'll run out of time. And I got back and he's like, hmm, waiting for me. So anyway, so anyway, it all got sorted out and the Christmas dinner was amazing. But I think he was, he, was, he was a bit cheesed off with me, to say the least. And because he was a bit cheesed off with me and I was already stressed, I was cheesed off with him. We fell out. 
that's it. It was a good job we had other people to talk to. Otherwise, it would have been a bit of a lonely time for us as well. So this is the reality at Christmas. If people are spending time alone or didn't have the most amazing day, I had a nice dinner and I was really blessed to be with all my children. That was lovely. But I, do you know what? I can't help still. I've had a really, Monday and Tuesday was really, really stressful for me. And I kept asking myself, why are you stressed? Why are you stressed? Because I think it's the anticipation and because I struggle with all the stuff and what I've also come to tell myself, and I'm being kinder to myself these days, is that, you know, we talk about how your brain works and what what it does throughout your life is it it lays down a library of memories and pictures so that if you've had a bad experience one time that's logged in there as that memory and so future memories are sort of your brain goes back and says is it like this memory is it like that memory and it wants to match a situation to the memories that you've got so to you know and it takes quite a lot of work to unpick that and keep telling yourself just because that happened then, it doesn't mean this is like this then. And and do you know what? i honest with you guys. I'm so honest with you guys. And one particular year, I got kicked home up the backside from my mum's house. It wasn't my mum. So nobody ever knew about this. And I, I got kicked up the backside and I landed on my coccyx. And that was certainly a Christmas to remember for all the wrong reasons. So that is one of my library of memories. So I don't know. You think you like to think that those things from all that time ago don't make any difference. But do you know what the truth is? I think they do. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Rachel. Rachel, we miss you so much. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Janice. So so that unfortunately is one of my um, library of memories so I feel this anticipation of Christmas being a big stress and to be fair we eat too much we drink too much and a lot when we drink too much um, a lot of stuff kind of seeps out a little bit so that's why I'm doing dry January so I can treat my body like a temple and get it back I'm really going to be working a lot on um, self-care in January and I hope you guys are going to um, be with you with me on this so anyway what else I wanted to talk about was you know it was a shame for the kids really my Georgia youngest one she was quite well aware that me and the other half had a bit bit of a fallout and I, and I thought do you know what he's got his he do you know, he's allowed to be stressed. He's allowed to be stressed. He's normal and he's the best husband ever and I love him to bits. But I talk to you like this because I know that I've got a really strong marriage with my best friend and he treats me like a princess. He looks after me. He treats me like a princess. He always does, you know, um, does the best for me. He's my biggest cheerleader. But sometimes... You have crossed words with your with your best friend, don't you? And yesterday was just a stress fest, and it all came out. And not a big. We didn't have an argument or anything. I just was a, giving him a little bit of a cold shoulder, and he was um, he had little digs digs at me through the day. Like um, I bought him a jigsaw. He likes doing jigsaws on Boxing Day, so I bought him a jigsaw with um, one of the photographs that um, of me and him and the dog sitting on our doorstep where we like to sit in France, in our beautiful French home that still needs lots of work doing. And he, he got it, he went, oh, another jigsaw. And he said, well, that this one, this picture is going to be so hard to do. He said, um, if only he'd picked a better picture. I thought, you know, I did try and pick a nice picture. Anyway, and then I, get, I, um, I bought him a new... A new leather wallet because he has um the one that he's got is really worn and basically falling to bits and I thought that will replace his his old leather wallet and he do you know what he said? He said um he said well I like my old one fits in my pocket nice and I thought Oof. he does at one of his good and bo bad points is he just says it how it is and I thought Oof. I thought, spending money on this. Any, anyway, any road up. So the point that I'm telling you this about is having our little 
uh, disagreements yesterday and little digs at each other. That's just part of being in a loving relationship. That's just marriage for me. And, you know, most of the time we get on amazingly well and things go over my head and he says things and it doesn't bother me however yesterday I was probably super sensitive super stressed so it was a bit like fireworks going off anyway I'm over it now and what I want to tell you about is we've talked about forgiveness and it's gone yesterday is gone yesterday's done anything that was said and done that you didn't like just let it, let it go let it go let it go because I tell you why I let it go, because it ain't doing you any good to hang on to that negative energy. So I am not waiting for him to say sorry to me because I think this or that or the other. And, you know, I'm probably just as bad because I should have just got over it yesterday. Because he did spend an awful lot of time making that beautiful Christmas dinner and I will be having seconds today. Um, so forgive with all your heart and don't just don't hold grudges because you're only hurting yourself and I know he's a good person I know he loves me to bits I'm not going to wait for him to say sorry I've already said sorry for being a grumpy cow yesterday I'm sorry and but the thing is I've got today off and I've got tomorrow off and we're going to have some really lovely quality I don't feel I feel like the pressure's off now all the paper and cack is all cleared up all I need to do is stack all the presents neatly kitchen looks amazingly tidy actually we did a really good job yesterday um and so don't hold on to negativity because it's not a, you know you can ask yourself is it more important to be right or is it more important to be happy and it is uh, let me I'll give you a clue it's more important to be happy right and you love those people sometimes you know we have tiffs don't we around Christmas and people get together and people say things that they, they didn't mean right and if that's you just let it go let it go don't think well I'm not saying sorry because he hasn't said sorry or vice versa just go it's fine do you know we scrabbled about nothing yesterday something and nothing Hi, Talia. Hi, Louise. Hi, hi, Louise and Louise. How are you? Hope you've had a lovely Christmas day. And don't worry if you didn't. It's been and gone. And the big deal is we've got next year to look forward to. And we know it's going to be good. And we know surely this thing, now we have the vaccination, surely this whole thing is going to start going away soon. Hopefully soon. The hospital I work at is getting the vaccinations um, very, very soon. So that is so exciting. And the other thing, if you've had not the most amazing day yesterday and it wasn't perfect and you fell out with your loved ones, let it go today. Just let it go and just go. Doesn't matter who's right or wrong, because often it's not a case of right and wrong. It's just different people see a situation in a different in a different way. So um, I'm going to love my husband so much today and give him lots of kisses and we're all going to be happy today. I'm going to do a jigsaw. We're going to start the jigsaw that he should be grateful that he got. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of the time with my family. And um, and I, um, what was I going to say about, um, what was I going to say about, I was going to tell you about forgiveness. Oh, the other thing that will really help you if you didn't have an amazing day yesterday and it wasn't perfect is um practice gratitude so it's really helped me this morning practicing gratitude so when you think about all the things that you're grateful for I am grateful that I was able to make up those packages yesterday and go and deliver them because I've got a car. I was gr I'm really, really grateful that um, I'm able to have all four of my children under the same roof because it's been such a long time. I'm so grateful that I've got a husband that makes me cups of coffee in bed and looks after me and um, cooks me nice food. And I'm so grateful that we have a really loving relationship and um, most days in the year we get on. And I'm so grateful that today I'm looking out the window. It's not raining. So we're going to take the dogs for a walk on the beach. And I think I'm going to catch up with my good friend Debbie. Because, you know, when things aren't working out so well, you need your friends. Just to check in with her. 
see how her day went, thank her for her, her beautiful present. She dropped off this present for me and she said, oh, she said, um, don't hold your breath when you're opening my present because it ain't that good and I'm going to show you what she's got. Now, my friend Debbie came um, on holiday last year when it was all normal. We had an amazing time in France and we had the big pool up. Um, so she bought me this inflatable drinks holders and I, th I was expecting something really rubbish and unthoughtful but that to me is such a thoughtful present and I thought because it means something and I will use those and I will share when I can be in my pool in France it's only a little it's only a big paddling pool it's not a proper proper swimming pool so when I can next use those in France I'm going to share with you and I'm going to take you around um our little French home and I'll show you I'll show you what else I got because apparently this is you guys probably know what it is I'm my daughter bought me this um Olaplex hair treatment I've never heard of it but apparently they do it in the hairdress Olaplex um hair treatment it's supposed to avoid all this frizziness going on so I'm looking forward to trying that hi Sarah and let me share with you this uh, one thing that makes my um, makes me love opening presents is when the, when you get thoughtful presents. So my sister got me this, um, an utterly awesome care package for Claire, right? Buddy box. I'm so I opened it, really excited. My little sister Zena is the best person at getting thoughtful gifts, and in this here. A little, I love scarves. I love scarves and it's got a little birdie on. So it's just a package of really thoughtful things. And um, the, it's got a card in it and the card says, be gentle with yourself this Christmas. And that is so true. If something's gone wrong, oh, it does smell amazing. If something's gone wrong, just let it go. Today's another day. It says, make sure you take time for some care this Christmas. You deserve it. Oh. And she's put, maybe I can use some of this for some of my lives. So I've got that. And um, this Dusk Rose Bath Slab smells so good. That's in it. And I'm going to, right, we're going to be doing this together. 30 Day Self-Care Challenge. So... I think we might, I'm not sure whether to do that in January because we're doing dry January. Who's joining me for dry January? I'm not kidding you, this will be a challenge for me. Right, so it says joining with this 30 day set. I'm thinking maybe we can do that in February. What do you think? Um, so it's got all different things that we're going to do. So we'll do that together. Oh, and one of these, just an example, draw or paint a picture of something that makes you smile. So we're going to do that together because I think that is amazing. And there's so many of these little companies. I put a, I put a link on to a company called um, Spiffy, I think it was. And I'll be buying some like journals and things from there. Right. This is amazing. And these are, I'd, I'll have to ask uh, my sister what this company's called. I think the company she said is called... I think the company is called, it might be called Blurt or it might, that says Buddy Box on it. So I'll have to find out where she got these from. So this package, what else have we got in here? Which is, I, have, I didn't get a chance to have a real look at these yesterday, but I love these. I was actually going to buy myself some post-it notes to, and it says, today I'm proud that I, so we will definitely be doing that um for the 30 day challenge hi Kirsty, and this feel, this make it happen the incredible power of taking small steps so i don't know let's have a look i haven't even opened this exciting isn't it like christmas all it's like christmas today without the stress isn't it so how to make it happen so i'm going to have a good look at that oh feeling stuck that's okay sometimes we all do Fortunately, there's a surprisingly simple solution to getting unstuck. Do something, anything, because whatever you want to make happen, it will only happen if you start. This mapology guide will help you 
recognize the achievements you make every day turn small steps into into big successes deal with common excuses for not getting started at all so, oh wow look at that so that i'm gonna have a good look at that that might be going on the wall behind me and oh look i didn't even notice this yeah i think the company's called blurt and that i know it'll be the wrong way around it says thankfulness log let's have a look at this thankfulness log such a nice oh that's lovely we will be filling that in because after after such a difficult june july august um i've learned loads of little tips to really help with improving your mental health and i can tell you please believe me when i say there are things that you can do and there are ways that you can train your brain and there are things that you can um, do that will really help, especially during these um, odd times. So I just thought that was a really lovely, thoughtful gift. Let's get rid of that. And finally, I this present, I forgot about it because it was hidden right um, behind the tree. But my one of my best friends is Penny, who lives in France. So hi, Penny, if you watch this on the replay. And she is, uh, she's just been able to retire, actually. So she's, um, she's not working quite as hard as she did in a job that I know she worked so hard in. And she's really creative. She's creative. She's crafty. And this has got to be one of my favourite presents. And the first thing I opened, I opened these. I opened these and I thought, what the heck are they? I thought, they look like rabbit ears, but I think they might be pegs. I thought, why has she sent me some pegs? I'm, I'll not lie. I thought, doesn't she just think that I do washing all day long? Why has she sent me some pegs? And then the next part of the present was this. A handmade peg bag that's in that um, sort of rainproof fabric. And it says, for my... Oh, look how she's embroidered that. For my special friend, Claire made with love p look at the little pegs on it and it's lined inside in that lovely material and i can't tell you how happy that made me because i just imagined i actually could imagine the love that went into making that i imagined the care that she took to sew that on the care that she took to embroider that the time that she took for me so for me homemade presents are just the best because they come with good vibes and good thoughts so with that i'm gonna leave you and i'm gonna go and um, make a start on the living room make sure that's looking sharp kitchen's looking sharp and then we'll be going out for a walk on the beach the dogs will love it and then tomorrow i'll be taking my doggy maddie she's having a blood test tomorrow to find out the best time that she can have puppies I've got a stud lined up for her and hopefully we're going to have some beautiful little black and chocolate puppy doggies sometime next year. So fingers crossed because um, they're really beautiful dogs and anybody who takes one of these puppies off our hands will have an amazing family pet. They're such good dogs. Anyway. So I better go, go and see what the little fam's doing downstairs. Remember to hydrate yourself. Tea, uh, fruit tea's really good. Water's really good. Pop's not so good. We don't want you drinking Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola today, okay? It's full of caffeine. You need to hydrate. And maybe a small Baileys for me later on, Okay and maybe some chocolates and maybe some leftovers and maybe eating more today because I'm going to eat much less in the new year. Thank you, Claire. Have a beautiful do blo <sighs> boxing day. And you too, Sandy. You take care. All of you take care. Look after each other and look after yourselves. And if you're feeling down, let someone know. Phone a friend. Phone a friend and tell them you feel rubbish if you feel rubbish. It's okay to not feel okay. Let's talk about it. So you look after yourself. I've shared my little ups and downs in life. So take care, look after yourself, and I will speak to you probably next week sometime. 
All right, you take care. Bye. Love you all.